the ongoing concern about eastern equine encephalitis is causing a big shakeup to tonight's high school football schedule once again this week. Yeah, the administrators around the state moving games earlier in the day to avoid all of the mosquitoes as best they can, especially in southwest Michigan where we've seen all these cases. So uh, at least nine people have caught the disease in Michigan and all of them are on our side of the state. A fourth person died this week from Tripoli. Uh, we've been talking uh, about when we're going to get that first frost and, and hopefully kill off uh, some of these mosquitoes. Uh, even if, if it does kill off all the mosquitoes, will it happen again next year? That's a question we're asking, and we have team coverage to start uh, the morning with Lindsay McComas. She is in the studio this morning. Lindsay, what are the experts saying about if we'll see this become an issue again next year? Well, Casey and Teresa, it's unlikely but not impossible because there are specific conditions needed for another outbreak like what we're seeing this year. We spoke to Dr. Kurt Blankenspoor from the University of Michigan on this. He specializes in studying the patterns of insects and broke it down into two factors that need to be met. Birds are a main carrier of the Tripoli virus, and when there is an outbreak, more are exposed and build up an immunity. But over time, those birds die off, making them once again susceptible to the virus. Now, additionally, Dr. Blankenspoor says there also needs to be large populations of certain mosquitoes capable of infecting humans. And that happens with more humid, wet weather. Now, as he explained it, much like the West Nile virus, this spike will likely be followed by much lower numbers. But, of course, we'll be monitoring it. Teresa.